I made this beautiful Linktree website alternative for my Instagram link in Canva and I'm going to show you step by step how you can do the same. This is truly one of the most cost effective and beautiful ways to build your client and email list. I also get a lot of questions about how do you know the stats of how often people click on this link if you're using Canva and I'm going to cover my secret to that at the end so be sure to not miss it. What's up, Miss Danny? Here to help coaches and entrepreneurs scale on YouTube. If you haven't yet, be sure to grab my starting on YouTube cheat sheet and learn the five things that your competitors don't want you to know. The first step in creating a Linktree website alternative in Canva is to head over to canva.com. Once you're in canva.com, you are going to come over to this purple button and click create a design. You're going to type in mobile website and you'll see it'll say mobile first website that is what i want you to click you can see on the left hand side there are going to be loads of free or pro which is for the paid version of canva template so you can do this whether you have the free or pro version i always recommend though if you're building your brand or online business to get the pro account i have a free 30-day trial linked up above and down below now I love a lot of these templates. You can use any of these templates that you want, but I've actually created a template that has all the basics you need for this beautiful looking Linktree website alternative. And so you can get that for free by clicking up above or down below. And that's the template that I'm going to be working off of. So you can actually make a copy of my template. When you click the link that I provided with you, it's going to show you this page and you can just click use template. And it's going to take you to this beautiful template that we are now going to use to create your Linktree website alternative. So you can see you've got your first page, the let's work together page and your links page that are all going to show up and look beautiful both on mobile and on desktop. Now it's important we pick the mobile first website because most people are going to be clicking this link if you have it as your Instagram link, as your TikTok link to send people to. So it's going to be important that it looks really nice on mobile first. But don't worry, we will make sure this also looks great on a desktop computer as well. You can see this is what it will look like on a computer and this is what it will look like on a phone. So it looks really wonderful. Now if you want a more holistic link tree alternative, I also also have a paid template that you can use that looks more like this. And so I have linked to that as well. But today we are going to go over this template. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is add in a photo of you here. The more recognizable it is and of your face, the better. Now, you may want to be adding a photo of yourself to this whole thing like this. I'll show you. So let's say I add in a photo of myself like this. Let's say I replace the background as this photo. And I want this to be the background instead. I think this looks really nice. The problem with it is, is when you publish it as a website, and we'll get into that in a second, you will see that when it, people click on it, if they're on a desktop, it's going to cut off that picture of yourself. So it's really important that we keep it in this frame. Okay, so we're not going to want to do that. We're going to delete this and undo these things. And I can actually just take this picture and instead... I can drag it into my frame here. All right, you're going to add in your brand name and some short info about you. Maybe this is your niche statement, right? And then you can add a little arrow here if you want. If you don't like these arrows, you can always come up here and add your own arrows and look around. Maybe this one's kind of cute. You want to add this one instead. That one's kind of fun. And so you could delete the ones that I have there for you. Something really cool that you can do too, if you don't know it yet, is you can come over here to this styles button on the left hand side. And if you have a brand kit, if you don't know how to create a brand kit in Canva, make sure you check out my Canva tutorial. I'll link it up above and down below where I show you how to set up a brand kit. You can actually just click on your branding colors and you can click a bunch of times and it'll give you different options. And then if you also have your your brand fonts, you can click on your brand fonts and it will change to your brand fonts, which it's already my brand fonts. So I'm going to keep that, but I'll change the colors. I think that looks really nice. All right. And I will change this. We'll just make this, you know, make sure that I have my, my Hey Danny J and I could add in my logo also as well would be really great there. The next thing is let's work together. So you want to put your offer here, your main offer. Maybe that's to book a call with you. And how then you can add in a link here is you can come over here and click this three bar button and you can add a link like this. So I could go to my uh, heydannyj.com slash my, maybe I want to link to my coaching page. And then once people 
click on that, it'll take them to my coaching page where they can book a call. You could keep this picture in here, or you can always change it going to photos. And maybe I want to add um, work online. Let's see if I can find some nice pictures. Maybe I like this one, something like that, book a call with me. Or it could be another photo of you as well. I'll put in a photo of myself, make it more personable. All right, then I'm going to come back up here to styles. Where did it go? And I'm gonna change the colors to fit my brand colors. I'm gonna find something that works with the top to make it look together. Ooh, maybe I kind of like that. Those go together well. Hmm, or maybe I wanna mix it up a little. We can see, ooh not liking all of these. <laughs> so find something that works. Then I can make sure the fonts are correct and then I can move down here to links. This page is really awesome. You can change this however you want. If you need to add another rectangle, you can always come up here and copy and paste. And then you can also change these photos as well. Now something, if you do need to add another link, we can copy Command C, Command V. And what you can do is if you don't know how to space it properly, you can just grab all of the rectangles and you can click position and tidy up. And that's gonna make them all even out really nicely. So that's a little trick there for you. And then what you'll want to do is then you'll come over here and click link and then you'll add in a link that you want when people to click on it to take them over to. All right, and so once you've done this and you can go back to styles and change the colors so that it all looks really nice. And once you have it complete, you want to change the name of this to something that conveys your brand. So maybe this should just be Hey Danny J Links. So it could be your brand name and say links or information because this is going to actually show up when you publish it onto your Instagram link or whatever. So it's important that you name it something that you know people are going to see. Okay. So don't have it be something like my Hey Danny J template. Then when you're ready to publish, you'll come over here and you'll click publish as a website. And you want to make sure the web style is scrolling. Okay. And then you are going to click open website. And awesome. Here we have your beautiful website page. It looks really, really beautiful. Now, this link is really long. And so if you want to have a shorter link, what I recommend doing is using something like Bitly. So you can copy this link and then you can go to bitly.com and you can create a shortened link that you can then have for your Instagram account. I would create an account. You can click then create. I would enter the long URL. Then I could click create. I would title it my Instagram links example. And then I can click save and it's going to give me a shortened link that I can then use for my Instagram account. So you can see I can copy this, see how much shorter that is, and then add it into my Instagram account. Now, if you have a wordpress.org website, I recommend using pretty links. And that's how I got my link, heydannyj.com slash links, because I use pretty links. That is a plugin that you can use with WordPress. Now, at the end of the video, I said that I would talk about stats. I often get asked, Danny, what about being able to see how often people are looking at your Linktree account or clicking on the link or how often it's converting? And my response to that is if you are sending people to a freebie or to a wait list or to a call, you can see how often people look at those pages from those websites. So for me, for my freebie that I've linked on my Canva website for my Instagram account, I can see how often people look at that page from my ConvertKit stats. ConvertKit is my email software. So you can still see the stats that you have from your landing pages. You just won't see how many people are actually looking at that link page that you've created in Canva. So for me, the stats that I get on my email software are more than enough. And usually for most online brands and small businesses, that's totally fine. It's enough. If this video was helpful for you, it's so helpful for me. If you can give it a like, be sure to subscribe. And while you wait for next week's video, be sure to check out these other very helpful videos. And I'll see you next time.